Hi, I'm Lucas Krikshnik and you're listening to 102.7. My new hit single, Pomeranians, is available on all streaming platforms. Stream it now, it's a bop. Link below. Hey, it's Lucas, welcome back to the Chan Chan. If you don't think Mariah Carey is God, then you're not my daughter. So a couple years ago, we watched the world's strictest parents together as a Chan Chan family. It's basically a show where crazy British rebellious teens get sent to American parents for some reason. I don't know why British parents are sending their troubled teens to the US, but go off. Go off, sis. It doesn't make sense to me because I was under the impression that British people just viewed Americans as McDonald's people. Like I thought they saw people from the US and just thought Big Mac society. I didn't know they would think like, oh, let me send my kid there to get them fixed. It doesn't add up. Anyway, we're gonna watch another episode. I cannot wait to see people fight with British accents. Yes. Let's meet the crazy English teens. Actually, they're Australian this time, but same thing. That's the same country. Just kidding, but I do have a hard time distinguish, distingu, Distinguishing, distinguishing the accents. I've dated an Australian man for years. Still don't know the difference, but let's meet the Australian teens. Bring them in. And a 16 year old who pushes life to the limit. She's been hospitalized three times from taking ecstasy. I don't think there's a problem with it. Girl. Okay, this is intense. The last episode we watched, there was just a guy who sang karaoke and got drunk or something, but this girl is doing the Molly. My mom's name is Molly, but um, that's not what this is about. She's doing Molly, and I guess she went to the hospital for it once, and she's still just like, yeah, I don't see a problem with it. I don't think there's a problem with it. Girl, there's a problem. And you're being sent to America, specifically Ohio, to figure it out. America will sort it out, don't you worry. You won't be doing any Molly in Ohio, so get ready. Aza will be traveling with 17 year old Troy. Oh, hell no. Did he just break a tree? He broke a tree. He abused a tree. He can drink alcohol, beer, booze. That's on him. That's his body he's destroying. But when you start ruining nature, just beating up a tree for no reason, ripping off a branch, sis, you're getting sent to Ohio. Get ready, because Ohio's ready, that's for sure. And hopefully you're ready too. Gosh. I'm a party girl, I'm a raver. I love to go out and have fun. She drinks, she takes ecstasy. I usually do ecstasy about once or twice a week and anyone who has a problem with it can get Okay, this is what I don't get about these shows. They're always talking about how bad this drug behavior is and then like they make it look so fun though. Like I remember even in Dare, they were like, don't do drugs. Like we're gonna watch a video right now of these people doing drugs. And in the video they'd be like, yay, like having a blast. And it's like, okay, now I want to. Like in fifth grade, I was like, okay, I'm doing Molly after school today if I can find any. Cause it looked so much fun in the video. They need to stop showing these fun videos and glamorizing it. I mean, just look at her. She's having so much fun. I'm gonna start doing drugs, like today. I'm doing it. Send me to Ohio, I don't care. Just kidding, don't do drugs. Don't. Don't. But literally, obviously, like, don't do drugs, you know? I'm just saying it's funny how they always make it look fun. He doesn't need anyone telling him what to do. I'm pretty happy with my attitude. I think I'm pretty funny. Most of my mates probably think I'm a bit funny too. It's just my parents that think I'm a bit of an asshole. That's me too. I mean, I think I'm funny. There's probably three other people who agree. The rest of the world thinks I'm an asshole. Yep. He likes to go to these places where all these young boys get together and they think that they're invincible. It's my life. I really do whatever the I want. Okay, did he just throw a car in the air and wreck it into the ground? That's too far. From the looks of it, he did it with his mind. Like he wasn't even moving a muscle and whoop de doo crashed into the ground. Flying car. I like how these are the clips they're showing to describe him being a rebellious teen. Like he just breaks cars. Is that what he does? I mean, okay. <laughs> Stop. Thank God he's going to Ohio. They're gonna stop this behavior in its tracks. That's how we do it in Ohio. I've never been to Ohio. It's time for the rebellious Aussie teens to say their goodbyes. I guess the girl even has a boyfriend and now it's off to Ohio. Time for some good old American discipline. That's how we do it in America. America, we do it right. 
send her rebellious teens here. We'll sort them out. But still, does anyone know why they send them to America? Like, I'm guessing it's probably just like a fun thing for the show. Like, oh, send them to a different country. Why not America? Somebody explain. I'm confused. Please let me know. There has to be a reason. But they never explain it. Roy and Aza are being sent to the small American town of Zanesville, Ohio for the next week. They'll be living with a deeply religious and conservative family. Meet the McDonald's. Same as the last episode we watched, it's a super religious family they're being sent to. They're gonna save them with Jesus. Jesus is gonna save these teens. Yes. There ain't gonna be any Molly parties in this household, I'll tell you that much, sis. They know how to whip somebody in shape when we say it. Well, they jump at it. Good luck, Aussie teens. Welcome to the USA. You're not gonna be a raunchy teenager that I can't stand. That's not happening here. No raunchy teens allowed, sis. No raunchiness in this household. I mean, she can claim that, but whatever she did with her fist at the end of that clip, that was raunchy. I mean, just look at that fist. The way she's moving it is raunchy. Thumbs up if you agree. That's all I'm saying. Girl, your fist is raunchy. Okay, let's see what they do. Hey! How are you? Can I hey, greet Troy. <laughs> Troy and Nathan. Nathan. Pleased to meet you. Hey, Troy. Hey, how are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, yeah, Whoa! Cool. I love how the Aussie teen literally did nothing and she's just looking at him like, oh, cool! <laughs> like, what? Whoa! Cool. Just looking at his face like, oh, cool! They're less than 10 minutes in and already Troy's searching for a way out. This plane that so I can't lock it. Oh, so shit. Check the screen comes off. <laughs> I think I just up this screen. Oh great, he's only been there a few minutes and he's already trying to escape. The mom looked at his face and said, cool, whoa. Whoa! Cool. And now he's out of there. He's leaving. I guess he's gonna jump out the second story window and break a leg. He's not having it. He snuck in booze? The disrespect. You just know he's gonna get wasted and rip a tree or like throw their car into the ground. Gosh, these disrespectful Aussie teens, I swear. I will not tolerate smoking or drinking. So it's gonna be pretty shit. You know, it probably will be pretty shit. So it's gonna be pretty shit. It probably will be, but hopefully they'll learn how to behave like Americans. <laughs> Just kidding. I have my packet in my jacket, a packet in my bag. <laughs> so here. I've got them in different places so that if they find um, one, I've still got a little stash. <laughs> Up and here the teen girl is hiding packs of cigarettes all over the place. So no matter what, she'll have a stash. Gosh, these teens and their cigarettes. I remember I did smoke in high school because I thought it would lower my voice. It didn't work. So don't try that if you don't like your voice. When the strict mom gets wind of this activity, she is gonna knock or maybe even whip some sense into them. She's not playing around. I'm not a teen, I'm a full on adult and I would do anything she told me to. I would obey her every command. I will not tolerate smoking or drinking, talking back, this obedient, not fun. I, I, I don't do that and I'm not starting today. Yeah, literally anything she said to do, I would do immediately. Now it's time for her to give them their American chores. Okay, let's start writing. The first thing that needs to be done is day of dishes and then bathrooms where the toilet is. I don't know why she had to clarify that the toilets are in the bathroom. And then bathrooms where the toilet is. I mean, Australians know that, right? Like, I mean, do they say the loo or something? I mean, everyone knows what a bathroom is. Like, even if you didn't, if you know English, you would just be like, oh, a bathroom, a room with a bath, there's a toilet there too. But you know, she just really wanted to let them know. Where the toilet is. Oh shit, he's not cleaning the bathroom where the toilet is. He's just drinking the devil's juice and playing the Sims or some shit. The crazy thing is, I bet you he's on the Sims cleaning their bathroom. He's mopping those floors on the Sims. Sims household, you know he doesn't let it get dirty, but he won't do the real life bathroom. That's where these Australian teens have it wrong. Get off the video game. That's not how we do it in Ohio. I was very suspicious of Troy. I said to myself, there's liquor in that. Now, you know, maybe he's just playing me for a fool, but we're gonna find out who the fool really is. We'll see. Yeah, he's gonna get whipped. They know how to whip somebody in shape. She's not gonna be looking at him being like, whoa, cool, any longer. Whoa! Cool. It's gonna be more like she'll look at him and be like, whoa, 
you're a fool, not cool. Do you see what I did there? It rhymed. So hopefully he realizes that. They're in church now or whatever, so Jesus can knock some American sense into them. As everyone knows, Jesus is only in America. Sorry, we called him. Sorry, not sorry. Ohio! He's actually only in Ohio, Jesus. But we can all visit there. Last time I went to church was when I was 10 and it was pretty shit. Yeah, I've been to church before. It was pretty shit. He doesn't stand church. But somehow, within the next 15 minutes, by the end of this episode, he'll be a minister, I bet. That's how these shows always go. Like, the teens are so mad, so rebellious, and then 10 minutes later, they're, like, joining the sisterhood of the nuns or whatever. Like, that's probably what will happen. Aza, on the other hand, has found a way to make church just a little bit more interesting. She snuck off with the McDonald's foster son. My lifestyle at Sydney is pretty much, I go out all the time. I'm hardly ever home. I do pills like once a week. And I smoke pot like all the time. Oh no, the Aussie teen is corrupting the family's holy foster son. Just like telling him how she does Molly and stuff. Molly, Molly, Molly. Now he's probably gonna do Molly. Great. I just know they're gonna be popping Advil soon. He better remember what he learned in Dare in Ohio, is all I'm saying. Aza's boyfriend appears to be a distant memory already. I forgot she had a boyfriend back in Aussie. Wait, is this episode gonna feature some good old fashioned cheating? Yes! Give us the drama! Give us the cheating! That is funny how we watch these reality shows that are about real people apparently and we're like give us the cheating But like we would never do that in real life. Am I the only one who roots for the cheating in these shows? Anyway, let's move on. Aza reckons a confession on the cigarettes may be just what she needs to win this family over. Do you like volunteering these to me? Yeah, I, I would actually like to get them. Pretending she's giving her nasty cigarettes to the mom. Girly, we know you have more packs stashed away. We saw what you did at the beginning. They're hidden all over the house. They'll be finding packs of cigarettes in that house for the next century. But somehow, the strict mom is falling for it all. She is eating it up. Girl, don't fall for it. Do I need to search your stuff oh, to make sure this is? No, I got them all that I <laughs> Sure. 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 Yeah, right. You still have cigarettes all over this house. We don't do that in Ohio. Cassandra's right to be cautious. I hit some cigarettes and she keeps asking me, are you sure you don't have any? Like, you're not lying to me. And I'm like, yes, I'm sure, <laughs> but I am lying. The pure sinning of it all. She sinned so hard. She literally sinned her face off. The strict mom is gonna be pissed. Just smoking in the house now, like, girl, how are you gonna get away with that? This cigarette stench is gonna be permeating the air. I don't know what this says about me, but I remember as a kid going to the bowling alley and like you were able to smoke at the bowling alley. Obviously I wasn't as a kid, but I remember thinking it was cool that I smelled like cigarettes. <laughs> what? Like obviously nowadays I'd be like, that's gross. I don't wanna smell like cigarettes. But for some reason at eight years old, I thought it was cool. I'd like smell my jacket, like, like, yeah, I'm a smoker, but I've changed and hopefully you have too. Quit smoking, Stacy. I guess the strict mom thinks the girl is wearing too revealing of an outfit or something. So she has her put a dress over her t-shirt, which is very confusing because it's not doing anything. Like if anything, the dress is more revealing, but okay, go off. I said, cover those puppies up. The focus is not supposed to be on you. That's the point. The focus is supposed to be what you are doing. It don't make sense. Make it make sense. To knock some sense into these Aussies, they're having them feed people in need, and this is their opinion on it. I would think it's a waste of time, because taking time out of your own life when you could be doing other stuff, going out with your mates. I mean, he's right. Why waste your time doing stuff like this, helping others, when you could be ripping trees for no reason? I still am mad about that tree. Almost as mad as I am at DJ Cal for not going down on his wife. I'm still am holding a grudge. I don't know why. For some reason it triggered me that he said that. There's also drama because he doesn't want to stand, I guess. Please see that. Troy, darling. You need to be up, baby. My legs are tired. Don't I'm make me come no down here. Now. I'll get up when someone comes in. No, you get up now. I'm sorry, I'll get up when someone comes in. No, you need to get up, dear. Thank you. You can't sit on the food couch, I'm wrong, child. He did not just sit on the food. He literally put his ass on the food. Sis. Oh, and now he's walking out. He's leaving the premises after his ass to food debacle. Apparently Troy has gone for a little walk. 
When I see him, it won't be pleasant. I'm on her side. Like, you can't just put your ass on food and walk out. I'm fully on the strict mom's side. Gosh. Tell me that's not a beer. He was supposed to be feeding the homeless. Instead, he did a runner. Oh, you don't trust me. Uh, not really. And of course he's drinking the devil's gin. Actually, it's just Pepsi. Okay, close call. It's just Pepsi. Since the mom and the Aussie teen are in really intense drama, it's now time for a silent staring battle. That was good. Like a lot was communicated just through those stairs. Sometimes you just need a good stare. And like your points will be simultaneously exchanged through the stare. Get it down front, so. Man, I think that's a load of bullshit. My plan for the rest of the week is to keep sneaking behind Cassandra's back and um, living the fun life. He wants to live the fun life? Okay. The big old fun Australian life? No. It's not how we do it in Ohio. Get to work. He needs Jesus, who's only in Ohio, as I've clarified before. The strict mom is starting to get a little nervous about the teen girl and her foster son's romance. Whatever you're doing in public, you're doing much more in private. So if I'm able to see What's happening when I'm out looking? The McDonald's don't allow their kids to date before they're officially adults. They're holding hands. Hand holding is happening. This can't be going down in her house. Death to them all. Death to all of them. We've just been sitting here talking. Just checking. So um, as long as you're in my house, you know that um, there'll be no fraternizing. Mm -hmm. No yeah. coming together of any kind. <laughs> right, as long as we're straight. Did they get the message? They better have. What did the mom say? As long as we're straight. Homophobia! Just kidding, she meant like, keep it straight and buttoned up. Like straight edge, you know? No kissing, no hand holding, no pregnancy. In her household. She already clarified she does not want raunchiness going down under her roof, and I get it. I told my children, I said, my husband and I went together <laughs> for four years and we married virgins. You can wait. You can wait, it's true. I actually have new merchandise, link below. It's a Chan Chan purity ring. Everyone in the Chan Chan wears one, and we all make an oath to wait until we're 58 to do it. Link below. I had a few cigarettes left and I'm sorry I lied about it. It's just, ask Brian. I gave him them and he flushed them down the toilet last night. What am I rolling up on? Oh my God. Oh. I must have dropped that because I pulled oh, them out. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, I thought you got rid of all your cigarettes, your cigs. I thought they were all gone. She tried it. She's a sinful liar. In Lord, in Jesus' name is correct. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. I'm going to start saying that more often. I don't even know what that means. Like, in Lord, in Jesus' name, what? Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Anyway, I'm going to start saying it, though, to get my point across in casual conversation. This up. Oh, bless the Lord. <laughs> Betrayal is when you have one's trust and you betray the trust. She tried it, but that ain't how we do it in Ohio. You got caught. So now we're getting to the end of the episode, and I think this is in every episode of World Strictest Parents. The actual parents of the teens send them like these emotional letters. So the teen girl's reading the letter her mom wrote, and like the mom's like, please stop doing Molly, like no more Molly and stuff, please. I'm gonna stop taking drugs, absolutely. I mean, I feel great without it. I feel great being me. I feel like me again, like I was 13 again. And she's done with drugs. <laughs> she's done with Molly. It was that easy. Four days in Ohio, she's done. That's how we do it in America. Now the teen guy's reading his parents' letter, which is like, please stop destroying trees and like, don't do bad things. I never used to think about loving my parents, but I love my parents, sorry. And now he loves his parents. They always solve it so quick on these episodes. The world's strictest parents knows how to do it, but there's still drama in the strict household. If I search your room now, will I only find one bottle? Yeah, well, there, there's a second bottle, but it's not actually mine. Okay. It, was act it actually is a gift, because I don't drink. It's like a girl's sort of drink. I'm glad to hear you come clean. His excuse is it's not his alcohol bottle because it's girly. Come on. We know you're drinking the pink champagne, the Moscato, whatever girly drink that is. Also, like, who would it be a gift for? Sis, you brought a gift that's alcohol and you just haven't given it to anyone the whole time? Just like the last day. Make it make sense. It's now time for another intense stare off. I'm so proud of you. Actually, you're amazing. Aww. 
because of Ohio, the Aussie teens are now like just doing wholesome things and not doing Molly. And they're just like having good old non sinful fun at the arcade. Thank God the girl and the foster son are hitting it off. With me and Brian, it was weird. It was like a one off thing. Like, we just started talking and we connected straight away. It's really been a good thing learning so much about her without. You know, moving too fast. It just makes it a whole lot more special. Has she told anyone that she has a boyfriend back home? I mean, go off. She's literally like 17. Like, relationships don't matter at that age. Like, it's not even cheating. Like, boo, you're 17. Like, you're allowed to cheat in your teens. That's right. Good old-fashioned clean fun. That's right. Good old-fashioned Ohio fun. No Molly in sight. I'm a bit nervous about going home, mainly because of the fact that I know it's going to be hard to resist all my old temptations and, and there's just stuff I have to sort out with my boyfriend that I'm not particularly I'm excited about. To the stars. Me and Brian, I mean, we're gonna keep in contact every day, obviously. Will they though? I mean, maybe they will. Maybe they'll keep in contact and get married. Uh, who <laughs> okay, Ariana. Those notes. The notes that were hit. Okay. It's now time to say goodbye to the Ohio family and go back to Aussie and take what they learned. I'm a little sorry for sort of making you worry. Yeah, I missed you. He has matured a little bit. I mean, that's a start. He kind of apologized to his parents. He's like, I'm sort of sorry that I kind of did this. It's a start and it's all thanks to Ohio. Coming home, I think a lot is gonna change. I'm definitely gonna help out more in the house and I think me and mom are gonna get along a lot better. I'm nervous about seeing my boyfriend and talking to him about everything and just sort of saying to him that I need time to myself. Girl, it's okay. You cheated, it's fine, you're 17. Just break up with the guy and change your MySpace status to it's complicated or whatever. Change your MySpace boyfriend to the new guy in Ohio, it's fine. It feels great to be home. Um, I'm glad I'm home, though I'm gonna miss America and I'm gonna miss the McDonald's, but. <laughs> She's gonna miss the American McDonald's. See, I knew it. I knew that all countries just think of America as the McDonald's country, the McNugget nation. Honestly. I'm proud. If people see me and their first thought is a McChicken, like I'm down with that. So the girl stopped doing drugs. She dumped her Aussie boyfriend and her and the Ohio guy are gonna get married. Yes. And the guy has joined the Navy, stopped drinking, and he's on good terms with the mom and papa. Okay, go off sis. What a happy ending. All thanks to America. Um, just kidding, but I'm still confused why they send them to America. But anyway, what a great episode. They got all better thanks to the Ohioans. If you've learned anything from this, if anyone in your life is struggling with literally anything, send them to Ohio. Four days later, they'll be better. Thank you guys for watching. Hello. Hello. Since I've been listening to Australian accents, so this is a British accent. Hello. That's a British accent. This is an Australian accent. Hello. Like, wouldn't that be how they say hello? Um, comment below how I did. I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs>